So you want to start live streaming, but you just don't know where to begin. With all the apps and services out there, it can be confusing to get started. But what if I told you there's exactly one app that lets you live stream to multiple platforms, communicate across multiple live chats, and it's free. That's right, with one app, you can live stream to YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, multiple destinations at the same time, bring all those chats into one place, and share your screen, video files, make a visually engaging live stream, plus it'll record at the same time. That's right, you can do it all with just one tool, and it's what I use to live stream my podcast and other videos to YouTube and my social media platforms. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up multiple live streaming destinations and get broadcasting today. Step one, create a free account at riverside.fm. You might know Riverside for recording, podcasts, and interviews, but Riverside has a bunch of live streaming tools available for free. Once you create your account, here in the Riverside dashboard, we're going to jump right into our studio, which lets us record and live stream. I'll click here to record. Here in the lobby, we choose our camera, microphone, and speaker output, whether or not we're using headphones. And if we're live streaming solo, you can go without the headphones for now. And let's jump into the studio. Now, real quick, if you don't have any gear right now, but you want to start live streaming, you can just use your mobile device as your camera. If you're using a Mac and an iPhone here on the lobby screen, click the camera icon and you should see your iPhone show up right here. When you click that, your iPhone automatically connects as a webcam wirelessly and you're actually going to get really high quality video right here from your phone. Then you can plug in a simple USB-C microphone to your computer and you have high quality audio. And if you have a little budget, this is a $20 light from Small Rig and will make a huge difference for your live streams. Links to these will be down in the video description. Now that we're here in the Riverside studio, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to connect something like a YouTube channel or Twitch to Riverside and start streaming right away. You'll see here at the top, it says live stream. When I click that, you'll see a stream to social option at the bottom. And when I click the plus icon, I can add all these destinations and stream to them simultaneously. And this is part of the free plan in Riverside. You don't have to pay for this feature to restream to multiple destinations. Let's connect our Twitch account. You'll be prompted to log in with your Twitch account and then automatically it's connected. It's that simple. And to go live, I'll just go down to the bottom, click go live, and it will start live streaming to my Twitch account and recording it in high quality here in Riverside as well. That's literally it. That's how fast you can be live streaming with Riverside. But to make sure you reach the most amount of people possible, let's add a couple more destinations. I'll click the plus icon again and connect our YouTube account. You'll log in with your Google account, then choose the channel you want to connect to this studio, and you're done. You've now connected a Twitch account and YouTube channel, and when we click go live, it's going to live stream to both those platforms. Now we can also add a Facebook page, LinkedIn profile, and that custom RTMP is really powerful. With that, you can schedule events on YouTube and then stream using Riverside via RTMP, and you can even live stream to Instagram. Did an entire video on that, you can check it out above if you want details on live streaming to Instagram plus these other platforms. Now what's great is I can keep these accounts connected like Twitch or YouTube, but just toggle them off if I just want to stream to YouTube. Or maybe I just want to stream to Twitch, I'll toggle that on, toggle YouTube off keeps your accounts connected and all in one place. Now you can also live stream using Riverside audience mode. I can enable that up here and that allows you to do things like live audience call-ins and more webinar style features. Now, if you're interested in hosting webinars with Riverside, there's lots of powerful tools for that. I did a 30 plus minute video explaining everything in detail. You can check that out above or the links in the description. Now, everything I've talked about to this point has been completely free, but if you want to remove the Riverside watermark and stream in 1080p high definition, click the gear icon, and this is part of the Live Studio add-on. You do have to be on the standard or pro Riverside plans and then upgrade to the Live Studio add-on, but then you get 1080p and you can remove the Riverside watermark. But streaming to multiple destinations and our OmniChat feature, which I'll show you in a moment, that's still all completely free. Now that we've connected our multiple destinations, let's go live. I'm gonna click the go live button here at the bottom. We'll get a five second countdown. When that hits zero, we're live on those platforms and being recorded in high quality. And you want that high quality recording because then Riverside will create vertical clips from your live stream in seconds. I'll show you that too. Now that we're live streaming, I can click the live record up here, click one of the destination links, and here's my live stream right here on Twitch. Now the chat room when you're live streaming is really important. So when someone types chat messages here on Twitch, the magic of our OmniChat feature is you'll see it right here in Riverside. So you'll see the chat window here on the right, a little bubble popped up. I can click that and go to live stream chat and actually see the username, the message, and even what platform it came from. You'll see the word Twitch right here. Now, when I send a message here from the Riverside studio, that's gonna broadcast to all the destinations, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. This way I can type once and send it everywhere. So if I type something like, don't forget to subscribe, you'll see that shows up here in the Twitch chat and it would be on YouTube and any other platform I'm live streaming to as well. Now, another great feature, which is on the free plan, is I can actually show comments from the live chat on screen while I'm streaming. So I can hover my mouse over this comment. 
I can choose how long I want it to appear on screen. I'll say 20 seconds. When I click show on stream, it's going to show the person's name and the avatar from the platform they came from. And you'll see that comment is also on the live stream on Twitch. This is a great way to let your viewers know you're engaged, you're watching, and their comments matter, showing them right here on screen. So I put it up for five seconds, it goes away automatically, and now I can show those comments as I'm live streaming. Also, while you're live streaming, you'll get a count of how many people are watching on each platform. You can always click up here and see the number next to Twitch, YouTube, and any other destinations you connected. And Riverside also has powerful tools to make your live stream more visually engaging. We have something called the media board here on the right. You can actually play video or audio clips, and these will be sent to the stream as well. I'll play this little video clip here, I'm going to go picture in picture, the video clip is playing, and you'll see here on Twitch that video is side by side next to me. Great way to make this visually engaging, uploading video or audio clips and playing them during your stream. And we even have new live stream layouts down here, so you can choose to be picture in picture. You can do full screen, which will focus on the media or screen share. Picture in picture will overlay me on the video or anything else I'm sharing or speaker split screen will make sure there's no overlap, and this way the video or screen share will be unobstructed. Now, if we wanted to share a website, some slides, or maybe do a tutorial style video, I can use the share button down here and share my screen, both a tab, a full window, or if you have multiple displays, you can show an entire computer display here. And like I mentioned, you can do all of this with multiple people in the studio. This right here was a live stream with me and my co-host. We live stream this podcast episode. This is me screen sharing, talking about some news, and you'll still see us in the speaker split screen, or you can do that overlay picture in picture, or choose that speaker full screen, and Riverside will focus on the active speaker and make them full screen throughout the stream automatically. And finally, in addition to showing chat messages as lower thirds, we also have a text tool here on the right, and you can show lower thirds, just plain text, or for those watching via Riverside audience mode, you can actually show lower thirds with a clickable link here. Great way to send them to your channel, other social media accounts, and that's all built into the Riverside Studio. When we're done recording and streaming, I can click stop down here at the bottom. And the magic of Riverside is all of this was recorded locally on device. So you get the highest quality video and audio. You'll see this window pop up at the bottom. It's gonna finish uploading that video and audio files. And now you have a high quality recording to make clips and post those on social media in addition to your live stream. Back on our Riverside dashboard, you'll see our past episodes or live streams. I can go into one of those and you'll see right underneath is Magic Clips. Magic Clips will create vertical videos. You can choose how long, what speaker to focus on, and even type in a topic. And Riverside will use AI to find that in your transcript, generate clips, and then you're gonna have multiple vertical videos from that long form content automatically. These vertical clips will also have animated captions, show you and your co-host, and any screen shares or media board files. Riverside puts it all together for you seamlessly. Then I can just go up to export, even up to 4K video, and this is ready to share on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. Or if you want to pull some clips manually, you can jump into the Riverside Editor by clicking Edit right here, Create New Edit, and here you have your live stream fully recorded and ready for you to pull clips. You can use some of our new tools like our Brand Kit, which will automatically apply a background, formatting, and get your video looking exactly how you want. Change the order of who appears in the video, and we have amazing tools under our AI producer, like Set Pace, which removes the perfect amount of silence. This would be great to apply to a live stream. You can also remove all your filler words like us or ums by applying smooth speech. Magic Mute will mute anyone when they're not speaking, so cut down on some background noise. And if someone recorded with a built-in microphone like on their iPhone or iPad, you can apply Magic Audio, and that uses AI to make it sound studio quality. And here you can see screen shares are still displayed, Riverside putting it all together for you. We're shown picture in picture, and you can use powerful tools like Smart Scenes which will automatically focus on the active speaker. And it's smart enough in those in-between moments of the conversation to go from one person, show both on screen, and then focus on one person again. Add animated captions if you'd like. We have lots of styles to choose from, and you can customize it even more with fonts, colors, and even active word animation styles. Plus we have a royalty-free image library built into the Riverside editor. So you can choose an image, overlay it, fill the frame, and you're adding visual interest here in the editor. Plus you can add text overlays and even background music throughout your clip. And when you're ready, you can export this in up to 4K quality. And now you have a high quality, full length video to post on your YouTube channel. Or if you want an audio format for a podcast, I'm gonna choose keep editing. It's gonna retain all the changes I just made. I can go up to export and then go over to audio only, choose MP3, and now I have an audio version for my podcast host that quickly. Plus Riverside also has a built-in generate show notes feature, which uses AI to look at the entire transcript and then give you keywords, summaries, takeaways, all of this from your recording. 
and even chapter markers, which would be great for a longer live stream. You can copy and paste these into YouTube to automatically get chapters there, or just use these to quickly find a topic and pull a clip. And those are the powerful tools that Riverside has to offer specifically for live streaming. If you want to see even more live streaming tools in detail, check out this video right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button, because we're adding more features all the time, plus you get that high quality video and audio recording. If you have any questions about live streaming, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those personally. And if you want to see that full length webinar video, which allows you to collect audience data, even sync it to HubSpot and more, check out this video right up here where I walk through the entire webinar process. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you live stream.